Now, as I said before, you don't need to have the OPZ app open in order to take advantage of most of the functionality here. Uh, but I do want to use it in order to give us some more visual feedback and just demystify more of what's going on inside of this box. Well, it's more of a rectangle, but you get what I mean. So you can see here, I have the OPZ app. You can just download this from the App Store. Once you have it, you're going to want to open this up and you're going to need to connect your OPZ using Bluetooth. So you see right here, uh, it wants for me to push the button on the back of the OPZ. If I flip the OPZ over, doo -doo 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 -doo, there is a little button right here. And when I press this, this activates the Bluetooth. Now I can press the scan button. And yes, now you see my OPZ connect, please. And now it's connected. Awesome. All right. So at this point, I can press this icon here, the screen button, or I can press one of the top buttons on the OPZ. There are four buttons here that take me to the different main modes. This last one is the screen button. And you see when I hold this down, it brings me to a little menu of icons. I'm going to go ahead and press the screen button here on the app. There we go, just to keep this up. And when the OPZ app is open, there are different areas that I can go to. So MIDI setup we have here. There's a guide. Uh, this will show me the guide that's available online on the website. We have motion. This is where I can access the uh, different 3D graphics. Uh, there are different like presets that people have made. You can also create these yourself. It's a little bit beyond the scope of this course, but that's how you access that. Photomatic is here, and this is the area where you can start to uh, sequence different pictures. We have a configurator so that you can see what uh, instruments are loaded on the different tracks, as well as the effects that are there. And last but not least, we have the actual OPZ where if we press this, we can now see information on the different tracks that we select. So this is what I'm gonna have open because uh, as I said, it gives us some great visual feedback as we're going through the different tracks here, uh, which you won't get just looking on the box itself. Once I turn this on, I currently have the first project and the first preset pattern loaded. If I press play, you're gonna notice on the app, there are uh, numbers here and there's also a button, basically a status icon to let us know whether the sequence is playing or not. We can also see the battery power on the OPZ app currently. So let me just press play. All right. If I start to switch to different tracks, you can see the names of the tracks there. If I start to activate some effects. So again, this is going to be a great visual component for us as we start to dive deeper into the machine. 